Hi there, and I'm glad to introduce you to this new section of the course. And in this section, you're going to learn how to interact with databases via Python. And what that means is that you'll use specific Python libraries, and you're going to operate a database uh, from uh, Python, using Python. Uh, you're going to do operations such as inserting data into database tables. You'll be able to update data, delete, and query data all from the database. And then you are able to use those data in your Python program. Python is able to interact with many databases such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, or SQLite, etc. In this section, you're going to learn how to interact with an SQLite database and a PostgreSQL database as well. SQLite and PostgreSQL are different in that uh, SQLite is not a client-server database. Instead, it is embedded into the end program. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at this program. If you follow the previous section, you know that we're going to build this program in the next section. When you click a button here, you see some data. And these data are stored in a SQLite database. In contrast to other databases such as PostgreSQL, uh, SQLite is based on a file. So all these data here are stored in a .db file, database file. So that means you can just give this, this program to someone else who don't have SQLite installed, and they can use this program. So they can add more data here, can update data and delete them and so on. But if you have this program in a PostgreSQL database, the user you, you give the program to, they would need to have PostgreSQL installed in their computer to be able to operate uh, the data. So consider SQLite a small database, and you can call it portable, but it's very popular, and PostgreSQL uh, would be more appropriate to use in a web application. So let's say you have some forms, you're getting some data from, from the user on your website, and you, you store your data on a PostgreSQL database on your server. And Python is a program that gets these data from your forms on the client, on the, on the browser, and sends those data in your database. Now, to be able to interact with these databases, uh, you need to have uh, two libraries. And these libraries serve as interfaces to actually send SQL code to the database. And the library to interact with an SQLite database is called SQLite3. And the library to work with a PostgreSQL database is PsychoPG2. So in this section now, in the next lecture, I'll show you how to work with SQLite3. And then we'll jump to PsychoPG2. So let's move on.